I am super excited because master artist Brian Burt is going to allow me to show his art on my channel. Let's get started. Today we're going to visit with Brian Burt. Brian Burt is a classically trained artist, which certainly puts him a cut above me. I have no such skills. But what's really interesting about Brian is the way that he uses those classical skills in a very unique way. I'm going to briefly read something that he has on his website about his painting. He says, I'm a classical realist or a trained illustrator. Would simply not be accurate. If I was blunt when asked, I would say I try to paint briefly convincing lies. A playing card by itself is simply not that interesting. Put that same card in the hands of someone with the proper skills. That same ordinary card can flip, change appearances, and even disappear. Through the deliberate use of technique and skill, something ordinary has been made into something extraordinary, something magical. I would compare my work to what a magician does with a playing card. I make something benign and forgettable, and through skill, I attempt to make you see that object in a brand new way, a way that is memorable, and if I've done it well enough, magical. So let's look at some of the magical work of Brian Burt. I always seem to start with the painting that got away. This is one of the paintings that got away. I wanted to buy this painting in the worst way. And um, I should also say all of the work that I'm going to show you of Brian's has been sold. He's very prolific and he sells like wildfire. The, I, I mean, I love this painting for all the reasons. If you watch my channel, you know the reasons why. But look at that ear. Look at the ear on that boy. That specific orange on the boy. Oh my gosh. That was the whole reason why I wanted to buy this painting. That combined with the green shorts and, of course, the subject. Now let's talk about Brian's sense of humor. Yes, he's classically trained, but he uses his classical training in ways where he kind of makes fun of classical training in a way. I mean, the book says sideways, which is a real horizontal pull, and then he's got this strong ver vertical going uh, up. He's so smart. You can see his reflection in the glass. You know, it, it's it's it's... He, he reminds me a little bit of, if you know anything about Banksy, in terms of the humor. But, you, you know, I would argue that Banksy is more shtick, and, and Brian's got the, the chops, the real painting chops to back it up. I mean, his painting is absolutely impeccable. But what he comes up with, that, when he comes up with ideas, you think, oh my gosh, I never would have thought of that. And then he executes by painting the painting absolutely perfectly. Most of these paintings are small. I would say, you know, maybe eight by eights or um, 10 by tens. Not that he doesn't do larger work, he does. But look at the brilliant way of making someone look at an apple in a different way, a way that you never would have looked at it before. You know, you just, you know, it's a little bit of a wink and a nod, but it's also it's so extremely respectful to the traditions of painting as well. Uh, when I first found out about Brian was a quite, a, quite a while ago in the Daily Painters Movement, and his business then was called, um, I think, Painting for Diapers, because his daughter was really, really young. We're several years along that now, and sometimes his daughter will appear with him on Facebook which is a lot of fun. You know, I, there's nothing I like better than seeing a father and daughter dynamic that's really positive and uplifting for, for girls these days. Um, the other thing that Brian will do is he will do custom work for you. You know, if you have a toy or something from your childhood, instead of hoarding it on a shelf, you might decide that you want to hire Brian to incorporate it into some sort of humorous composition like this. It's a great way to hold on to a memory and also own a fantastic piece of art. When I saw this come up, <laughs> I just laughed out loud, laughed out loud. And, you know, it's very seldom when you're sitting alone in your house that something will strike you as so funny that you'll laugh out loud. But this plane uh, skydiving into that donut, you know, it, it, oh, my gosh, I just said, oh, Brian, oh, Brian, you have my heart. The next one, I think, is also brilliant. You know, that Polaroid camera looking directly at you, especially in the, maybe if you're not old enough, you don't know what a Polaroid camera is. It was the first thing that gave us instant photos, but they were concrete. They weren't kept on the web somewhere. And this is looking directly at you. And I just thought, you know, once again, sense of humor, fantastic. Brian does not only paint objects that are immobile. You can clearly see here he's fully capable of painting things in motion. 
And uh, he also is fully capable of, you saw the self-portrait at the very beginning. He paints portraits beautifully. I didn't include the work uh, that he does in, of architecture or of um, plain air painting. You know, he can do it all. That's just simply as that. This cracks me up because Rolos, the Rolo is rolling. The Rolo is rolling. Oh my gosh. What a sense of humor. You know, I just, I have the feeling that uh, I would get along very well with Brian because of his sense of humor is just so fantastic. This I love for just excellent painting. Look at all the various greens and grays in this. It's so, so carefully planned and so beautifully done with complementary colors. Here's another example of his humor around uh, Christmas time. There's no one like him. That's what I'll say. There is absolutely no one like him. And if you can, I would buy one of Brian's paintings today because they're only going to keep going up and up and up because he's the real deal. And, um, and I wanted to include at least one floral because sometimes, you know, just like when you go to a bakery and you compare chocolate chip cookies, sometimes I like to compare, say, my skills or someone else's skills against a floral, you know, something that I know really, really, really well. And, uh, of course, he's equally adept at this. Oh, my gosh. Just, you know, breathtaking and something that you um, could never walk away from and not remember. So thank you, Brian, for letting me show your work on my channel. It's such an honor that you would allow me to do that. Remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, master value mix for color. And I'll put all of Brian link, Brian's links below so that you can link and, and buy a painting if you can get one, if one's available. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.